guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a data store system in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the model is going to be in the description as always. So there's a few steps that you need to do for this, not just as simple as getting the model and ungrouping, and ungrouping it. So I already did this before, so I have one coins. And then when I collect it again, I've got two. And now you see when I stop, it's going to lag because it saves the amount of coins that I have. And it will lag for most likely everyone. So now I have two coins. Okay, so once you get the model, ungroup it in every place. Then you need to publish your game. Um, you can't actually see this right now, I don't think, because of my recording software. So once you publish it, go down to security. Enable HTTP requests, which is the very top one, and then API services, which is the one directly underneath. Then click on save down here, and then after that, it's pretty much done. So if you want to make your own leader stats, then this is what you have to do. So inside of the um, leader stats script, you say here whatever the name is. So I'm going to say gems. Then over here, say the same, but lowercase. It doesn't really matter, but it's just easier. Gems. And then here, you also have to say gems. Gems. Then here. Then the last place is here. So you may be thinking that you're done. But inside of the coin script, you must change, as you can see here, Change this to the name. So mine's gems. Now I'm just going to leave. Actually I'll just make it like purple. To sort of look like a gem. So now when I play. Since I haven't collected any gems yet. Oops. Since I haven't collected any gems yet. It's going to. Yeah it's going to be zero. So now when I collect it. I have one. Then when I stop. And I play again. You'll see I'm going to load in with one. There we go. So that is all for today's video. Bye guys.